He's the star of one of the most buzzed about shows this fall TV season. I'm talking about Ben McKenzie. Thank you so much for joining me on the couch. Thank you for having me. Welcome to our humble abode. Uh, it's lovely. It, it is. A lot right? of color. Yes. A lot of color. Really yes. Good use of that. And well we, we got your name up in the background yeah, and everything. You spelled it correctly, <laughs> which I'm really happy about. <laughs> no, honestly, like it's shocking how difficult McKenzie is apparently. Just really? Kind of, yep. Really? People want to put an A in there. It is very to. <laughs> Wow, yeah. you like almost hulked out there. I almost hulked out. You really did. I almost batman out. Uh, you did almost Batman out. That was pretty good. Hmm. It's pretty this is a nice, subtle, nice, pretty subtle transition. Yeah, I know. Nice little Thank segue. Uh, this up here not getting more subtle. Like, what's going on? Yeah, with well, the... it's healing. I I banged into a concrete wall during a fight oh, scene that's on sad. Friday. Yeah. That's um, yeah. Wasn't very. It wasn't my finest hour, but uh, but it's all fine. No concussion. Stitches are underneath. Nice. Uh, they're probably dissolving as we speak. That's legit. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the show, which you are incurring injuries mm -hmm. for That's already. Right. Um, Gotham, it is a Batman origin story. Yeah, it, it's, it's an origin story set yeah. in the world of Batman, so it's an origin okay. story for everybody, including mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne. But, um, but it really focuses on Jim Gordon, who's a rookie police detective. Uh, and he's uh, he and his partner, Harvey Bullock, get assigned the case of the Wayne murders. Jim meets Spruce and says, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And, um, and an un, a, a larger conspiracy sort of unravels from there. Of nice. Who's actually in power in Gotham? Mm -hmm. um, what's going on? And, and the various powers sort of battling for control of the city. Gotham is a story about the origins of the great DC supervillains. We'll be seeing how they came to be. Catwoman, the Riddler, Poison Ivy, the Penguin. What made the Joker the Joker? How did Scarecrow become the Scarecrow? Why did the city get in such a state that they needed a masked vigilante to save it? Where are they Our hero is James Gordon, played by Ben McKenzie. When we join the show, he's only been two weeks on the job as a detective. And no mustache yet. That's a bold choice. But that is a very bold choice. I what? Tell, tell me uh, the thought process behind that. The thought process was yes. that would look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? I, yeah. I mean, I guess it's like Do season you know two, season guy three. My age, who walks around with a mustache. I mean, they're Who very does not hit. wear suspenders and serve you lattes? Like, I don't. Is there a guy? <laughs> I don't. I, no. Who doesn't work at Intelligentsia? Yes. Does, no, I don't. Great coffee. Yes. Don't want to look like Ridiculous outfits. No. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Why uh, are people so obsessed with this mustache thing? It's, it's iconic. It's iconic. In the same way that Batman is iconic. Right. Um, you know the comic book fans are out of control. Batman fans out of control. Yeah. I mean, how have you been handling the pressure of taking on this role? I've been handling it fine. It's great. We, we interacted <laughs> uh, at Comic Con. Uh, we got to, you know. How was that? It was great. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I get it. They're they're very passionate. They uh, they want it to be done right. Right. Uh, I'm really proud of the show. I think that it speaks for itself, and uh, I'm excited for them to see it. Fantastic. And you have a great cast with you as well. You have Donald Logue, yep. Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with them? Awesome, awesome. We have a great cast up and down the line, um, including people that you probably haven't seen before, like Robin Taylor, who plays the young penguin. And he really kind of, um, he's really, fantastic in this and it's a completely different penguin than you've seen before mm -hmm. there's no Danny DeVito penguin not that he that was great too but this is like yeah. a completely different characterization yeah no shade of Danny DeVito well it's just a completely <laughs> different at this point right. Oswald Cobblepot is a, is a low level henchman for Fish Mooney and to see him kind of through Machiavellian twists and turns work his way up to the Gotham power structure with Robin's performance is, is pretty cool. Machiavellian, I like that. Mm. Multi-syllable. They have gone to college. You've, yeah. What? Well, uh, um, speaking of that, okay, so when I was doing my research about you, yes. I love this. You have a degree in foreign relations and economics. Yes. I love this. I have a degree in political economy. Why are we, why are, why are we, we here? Why are we here? Because this is way more fun than working this for the true. State Department. This is true. Um, so, I mean, well, why? What, what led you down this path? Now you are playing a young Commissioner Gordon, uh, but you graduated with a degree in foreign relations and yeah. economics. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you look good in a suit, clearly. So, I, I mean, that. I mean, 
Uh, this whole acting thing doesn't work out. I'm I saying. could. You could work for the stage department. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have to wear a flag pen now. Every, every, yeah, every, that's every this day. is true. This is um, true. I uh, I just took cla acting classes in college. Uh, uh huh. And, uh, uh, I loved it, and you know, you, at that age, you don't really want to kind of settle on some profession that is the one you ought to do, and you want to kind of try to try something else. So that's all I yes. thought I was going to do. I was going to try acting, and if it worked out, then then great. But I didn't right. really expect it to. So just coming, I, you know, I'm very lucky. So because you have this fancy degree, yes, I want to test your knowledge. Uh, oh from back, yeah. There aren't gonna be like Just, names involved. Oh, there might be. Geography. There might be. They're not geography. Not geography. Okay. Who is the current chairman of the Fed? Current chairman of the Fed? Yes. Uh, it is. Is it still Bernanke or is it Geithner now? Uh, close. Janet Yellen. Oh, it's Yellen. Now. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Down. All I'm right. Sorry. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, but I'm you, sorry. you named the the one last. So. <laughs> after, Traumatic after brain injury. Point. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's Yellen. Damn it is yelling. Okay. Name three countries in the G8. In the G8? Yes. Japan, US, UK. That's easy. Ama you know what? That just makes up for, for Thank everything. Thank you. I that think it does fantabulous. Too. I agree on that. You guys. <laughs> you know what? It'll. It, you know, if this acting thing doesn't work out, you could. <laughs> Geography teacher, maybe. Right. I could be a like, yeah. poor geography teacher. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you want us to know about Gotham? Um, anything you want to tell the fans out there? Nothing. I think it's a good show. I think people are going to like it. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to work on that. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little extra makeup on that. That's right. Ben McKenzie, thank you so thank much. You for thank you. Me. Yeah, thank you for, for joining me on the couch. Be sure to catch Gotham Mondays on Fox.